after picking up Mr. Plastic Fantastic from Matt and Simpson's Classics, well, as I got it home, well, it started to completely piss water out of it and some other things broke, so we're going to have to have a fix of those today. It turned out that the water was coming from the water pump. Uh, there must have been a seal that was broken, so we're going to take it off first. Here we go, we're going to bet the bolts out. It hasn't got a fan on this because it's got an electric fan that Matt put in. Anyway, we're going to get this one off. It might be have not been replaced for his whole lifetime because it is pretty gammy and grimy as you can see lovely jubbly since we got it out to replace the seals we may as well put a new one in because you know oh, yeah, may as well it saves having to pull it off again for some other reason so look at that oh how lovely and clean is that and we're gonna clean that off a little bit and then bolt it back on bish bosh bash and after doing that it turns out that the leak had completely disappeared may as well put a new thermostat in there and bolt it all back together also when i got back i had braked quite heavily and it seemed to dislodge a disc brake in the caliper which we have our realizing decided to cut a groove into the disc brake and into the disc brake caliper i decided instead of having to spend a bunch of money trying to fix that caliper since we were going to upgrade the vehicle and the engine a little bit later anyway i decided to treat yourself and i got some upgraded disc brakes because uh, you know i was going to get these later on anyway so let's just get them now so these are mini sports 7.9 inch and uh, we're going to bolt them back together with some alloy flanges because you know why not race car and all that talk it up make sure it looks all nice and tidy and then put them back together this is a the, you know a quick afternoon job disclaimer don't follow this video make sure you know what you're doing anyway we're gonna uh, quickly talk not talk it up but we're gonna bolt it up so we can actually bolt the disc brake pads on and decimate calipers uh talk that up and then i realized that i made a mistake i put the wrong one on the wrong way around because the bleed nipple's supposed to be at the top to let all of the air holes broke out through and then we wait we put back on the banjo brake hoses and we put on the disc brake pads after some copper grease and we put it all back together talk it up put the retainer clip in put the wheel in and then put it down and start working on the other one but it's only in a very small garage so we're gonna move it around pull it back make sure we can get it oh look at that little gold twingle in the side as well good anyway we're gonna do the next one same as before get the disc brake pad off i probably should have done that before after taking the caliper off but here we go so we're gonna remove the caliper after getting all of that juicy juicy disc brake fluid out of it we're gonna remove the disc brake and we're gonna plop the other one back on lovely jubbly who knows how long these are gonna stay on for because um we're probably gonna have to take bits and bobs off because we're gonna keep on messing with this car anyway we're gonna talk it back on get the couple of grease get the brake pads put the retainer clip in i forgot to get any footage of bleeding the brakes so you're gonna have to pretend they were already bled already anyway let's go and test it out give it a bit of a brake test and yeah it's already done a thousand miles since then and it's still working perfectly fine which is awesome anyway i found this at the car boot so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild these and bolt them back on probably the worst idea ever but anyway